Hey guys, so this is a quick tutorial how you can import the contacts in HubSpot and how we can make sure that it is properly mapped out so that all the data are imported um, correctly. Because sometimes if you didn't do it right, some of the data will not be imported or some of the data will mess um, or move to a different properties that shouldn't be there. So yeah, to add a Excel or import files in HubSpot, in import files specifically for your contact information. You just basically need to click in the contacts and then contacts and then click the import. So you have two options whether you want to use an external application or just the manual way, which is the Excel or CSV. So I'm going to choose to start and import or the CSV option. Now you have another option again, whether you want to import a file that you want it to be like, you want it to be added into the HubSpot database, or you want to import an existing contacts and flog them as an unsubscribe. OK, we don't have a data yet, so I'm going to import the contacts from the week. So I'm going to click this one and click the next. And by the way, you also have like if you don't have any CRM platform or CMS platform yet, but you already have a contact maybe on your Facebook or um, an offline contacts, then you can use this sample spreadsheet in here. You just need to follow this spreadsheet and put in the mostly you HubSpot will need you to put in their first name, last name and email address. That's all you need to have for every contacts. But if you want to have a, a more detailed information about the contacts, they do have a lot of properties you can use okay so i'm going to click next button in here and then you also have an option whether you want to import a multiple files now in the multiple files before we jump into the one file because our our tutorial right now is more into one file but in the multiple files i just want to explain with you how this works so multiple files if you select this one you have like um option because these are like the properties that you can um, import in HubSpot companies, contact, deals, lines. So let's say I'm going to choose company and contacts. I'm going to click next. So you have two Excel that you can import if you use the multiple um, import option. OK, but again, I'm going to um, use the one file, click the next and then again in here, whether you want to have an object or multiple object. When you say multiple objects in the contact section, you can also add a companies into your, um, um, what do you call that, contacts property. So that's also possible to do, okay? So yeah, again, I just really want it to be super basic. I click the object, the one object one. And if you think this is still confusing, guys, please comment down below. I'll be happy to answer it. Or you can send me a consultation. You can book a meeting on my calendar at the bottom um, on the link description below so I can provide more explanation. What's the difference of this multiple objects, uh, one objects, like I can provide samples of um, the difference. So I'm going to click next in here and we'll just choose contact and click the next. Again, if you want to import a company, use companies. But if you want to import a contact, use contact. OK, click the next and you just need to download or import rather you just need to import the csv file okay and the csv file i just created is just super simple there is a first name there's a last name and there is an email address and you don't want to open that it's just already an email address added into that excel so click next here and then this is the map out section that i want i'm trying to tell with you guys so make sure so this one so it says in here, like this one is the column of the Excel. Okay. Now this area in here is the 
properties where this information will be important. So make sure that they are mapped out correctly. Okay, so first name, first name, last name, last name. Okay, last name, last name, first name, first name, email, email. Sometimes there's a shuffle happening in here, especially if your custom properties is customized. Now, this area in here called don't override means if this person, let's say Lisel, is already existing in the contact, they will not or the hotspot will not override the updated information from the Excel. Okay, that means of don't override. It's called underwrite. Now, if you want to overwrite the information, let's say Lisel in the HubSpot has two L, like there's a do there's a double L on her information. If you keep this one unchecked, then HubSpot will override the changes or the information from the Excel. So the Lisel with double L will be updated on the HubSpot portal. Okay, hope that makes sense. Hope you understand what it means about overwrite and underwrite. Don't overwrite means underwrite and overwrite means Override. You are replacing the existing information into the HubSpot database. Okay, I'm going to click next button in here. And then in this part, it asks you if you want to create a lease. This is what I'm trying to say with you guys. So let's say database or contacts um, weeks. Okay. And I'm going to agree this one. And then you also like have an option here, whether um, you, this is super important, by the way, guys, if your contacts needs um, to receive any email marketing um, messages or uh, like email marketing emails because if you uncheck this part in here it means that um they cannot be um used for any email marketing like newsletter stuff so i'm gonna click the marketing contacts i want to make sure that we can use this contacts that we added um for our marketing for their marketing campaign so five five six and then click the import 556 and finish the import. Okay, so it's super fast. HubSpot is super fast really in importing everything. So if you go into the here, uh, click here to view, um, it will be redirected to the lease I believed. Okay. Five hundred six records. I'm going to the contact section, and here you go. So far, we already have a five hundred eight contacts into our hotspot. Again, you can add more details in here, like the phone number, company details, or primary company. And I would highly recommend that to connect into your company's property. So, company's property is just located under the contacts and there the company. So, this is a super fresh account. And by the way, HubSpot will automatically fill in the details for you. If they found something that is a company, they will provide um, like a details for you. But still, like if you can add more information about the company, it would be super amazing for you, for your um for your statistics report for you for the report for the reporting purposes and yeah that's how it works guys if you have any question please don't hesitate to message me or comment down below thank you